cooperative federalism we keep talking about now it is like every unit every entity trying to insult the other by saying these kind of things very ugly uh madam the dmk uh, party chief uh, mk stalin ji our chief minister's son udayanidhi stalin during the assembly election in 2021 he made a statement modi ji because of his torture he killed arun jetli ji and sushma swaraj ji it's a statement given by udayanidhi stalin we have given a com- complaint to the election commission and everything we have given a complaint if i recall the dmk top leader speaking like this i should not say this in the podcast when indira gandhi madam post emergency when she came to tamil nadu she was stone pelted in madurai she got uh, cut yes cut and blood kalinger karnanadi was asked madam indira gandhi got a blood what do you think i should not say this karnanadi on record said for a woman blood is coming what is new in that it happens all the time dmk as a party it has got a rowdy image in tamil nadu for a, a, a woman will never vote for dmk always jailalitha modi ji now the kind of utterances they do is like you cannot even hear modi ji's mother gets insulted like anything every time modi ji goes and meets her mother immediately the dmk it wing and somebody will tweet photo opportunity he went for photo op all crap they will write madam so nothing new in the political discourse of it is maybe for the, maybe for the first time uh, many delhi media has picked up but many a time this news gets very localized it doesn't come out of tamil nadu people always say are yaar they are like that only just sodu do let us go to the next work but in the same speech what you have seen madam not only that fellow abused the governor he abused my mother it's the same speech the same speaker after abusing the governor he said how did annamalai's mother gave birth to annamalai something he said but i am also used to their attack last three or two months two years i am seeing their kind of attack it's a it's a 40 minute speech if you take that speech per se the dmk person minimum 20 fir's you can put who was sitting with them two mlas the state health minister was sitting in the stage listening to the full 40 minutes they walked out then we thought the only way we can put pressure on the tamil nadu police is we have to put a subtitle to that speech and send take it across india the subtitle was put by our team our bjp it wing we took that speech put a subtitle send it to all of you in delhi to all the editors we said look this is happening in tamil nadu the police in 48 hours it's not registering an fir then once it became a big issue it became a national issue then people understood the context of kashmir and what it, that is why if you see my twitter feeds ma'am often i put a subtitle and post it the only reason i want the news to go beyond tamil nadu for people to understand what is happening hmm. the punishment till now till today is yes, suspension from a party for some time no fir if i go one step below uh, behind that one week back madam kanimoli was addressing a meeting in chennai the women police have to go, have come to give security to her dmk meeting one fellow molested a women police constable then we said we said look we have a video we are going to release that video you better book an fir and take this fellow out we know their name also i called for a press conference i said chief minister you do it there are two things one she is a woman second she is a police woman third she is there for your party function fourth the chief guest of the party function is your own sister you do it then 24 hours no fir 48 hours we said two days we are going for a dharna after 48 hours they booked an fir after two days they picked that guy took him to the police station called the tuman constable asked her to withdraw the complaint that is the drama then bjp workers went and garroted the police station the late night arrest happened at 3:30 i am just giving an inkling inkling like this because madam when dmk knows it is in the last leg it is not fighting in its ideology kalinger karnanadi fought on an ideology i'll give it to him right or wrong that's a point of debate madam we can sit across the table and sure. two leaders can fight with ideology anna durai fought with ideology 1961 62 he said tamil nadu is going to be a separate country right or wrong he mentioned it moment we brought our constitutional amendment we said any political party talking of secession the political party would be banned immediately anna durai in parliament said okay we are not going to speak about secession but we agree to be part of the indian country 
but the condition still exist we will fight for our rights right or wrong madam with those people you can sit across the table and talk hmm. because we have an ideological differing your conversations can happen but current dmk dispensation without the intellectual brain of a kalingar or anna durai or somebody it has become more like a macro party hmm. where the first thing is abuse filthy language and the poor governor who has who wants to serve our state first time is hearing all this when governor along with this madam visited a temple in tamil nadu he was not wearing a shirt because the tamil nadu dangavastram the culture is there in temple immediately the dmk it wing took that picture and put a troll then our it wing had to call their it wing fellows and said look if it is not stopped it is going to get personal because we are not governor's pro we are dm bjp party as citizens of the state he is our governor personal vilification personal attack the poor governor he maintains a studied silence at least we we speak but governor clearly believes his job is not to speak he does his work he travels across tamil nadu he speaks he doesn't come to media doesn't talk why he does what he does and everything but somehow dmk thinks the governor not speaking means they can speak whatever they want 